and roughly 10,000 people are expected to attend the Red Rocks Easter service Sunday morning. And though it's always popular, recent events do indicate there's a renewed interest in faith. According to Gallup, about 30% of Americans say they attend a church, synagogue, mosque, or temple regularly have gone in the past seven days. That's 10% lower than just in 2012 and about 20% lower than at the end of the 1950s. So Americans are worshiping in person less, but anecdotal evidence suggests that prayer or at least spiritual curiosity is on the rise. God, we take this moment just to give you thanks. We thank you for this time to come together 123 million people watching Super Bowl 58 in February saw a commercial for Hallow, a prayer app. The spot featured Mark Wahlberg asking you to pray with him. Now, the game also saw a couple of ads for He Gets Us, a campaign promoting the teachings of Jesus. And I recently snapped this photo of a He Gets Us billboard on the Las Vegas Strip. Growing up in the 80s, this is a different time. Christy Cobb is assistant professor of Christianity at the University of Denver. And she says this does seem to show a renewed interest in spirituality. I think so. I mean, I think that it's been a really stressful decade. <laughs> Five to ten years has been um, with the pand pandemic, with uh, political divides, uh, recently with the sort of rising cost of inflation and cost of living. I think people are feeling anxious and stressed and I think people are looking for ways to mitigate that and I think faith is perhaps one of them. Hallow claims it's been downloaded 14 million times and used for 464 million prayers and counting. And Cobb says this seems to indicate desire for the spiritual but also convenient way to get to it. I don't think church attendance is increasing right now. I think it's the accessibility piece. If you can get an app on your phone that you can download and you have with you during your busy times and that can guide you through a meditation or do a prayer in a moment of stress for you, then that's a much easier way to sort of tap into faith. On my way to meet with Professor Cobb, I came across a group of teenagers handing out flyers for an Easter church service. And they say people their age want a spiritual element to their lives and often use prayer to find it. I just feel like prayer can definitely bring people together and unite people. This is like a, a broken world we live in and people are struggling in their own personal ways. And just to know that someone out there actually cares and sees them, like, it really does stir in people's hearts in a way that you wouldn't really think. Whether it's a moment or a movement, something seems to be going on. Right after the Super Bowl, Hallow reached number one on Apple's App Store. And there's a car being driven at 180 miles per hour promoting the humility and humanness of Jesus. Ty Gibbs is driving the number 54 He Gets Us car in the NASCAR Cup Series this season. Anybody we talk to, they're open and they're, they're wanting something more, something more like with hope and stuff like that. And Forbes reports that the He Gets Us campaign plans to advertise in other big cultural moments this year, including the Paris Olympics, the NFL draft, and both the Republican and Democratic national conventions. And according to the Associated Press, that campaign's website saw 715,000 views just in the 24 hours after that Super Bowl commercial aired.